Hola, this is your Good News Roundup. Today, we're covering a new research on a way to help plants survive extreme heat, an exoskeleton that is helping wheelchair users walk, how the books business is booming, a study that says friends appreciate being contacted more than you think, and how macas extinct in the wild have made a flying comeback in Brazil. We start with a story from Green, the environment section of your news that reported on research that may have unearthed a way to help plants survive extreme heat. Scientists from US and Chinese universities have discovered that at high temperatures, plants are unable to produce a hormone called salicylic acid, which helps them fight pathogens and pests. They experimented with a plant called Thelcress and discovered that many of the genes that were switched off at high temperatures were controlled by a master gene called CBP60G. When this master gene got too hot, it stopped functioning, and under heat stress, the plant's immunity was compromised. Scientists think that if they create a mutant plant with the master gene permanently turned on, its defense system will be maintained even in fierce temperatures. And if they are able to later reproduce the same heat resistance in common crops, it could prevent food crises during periods of extreme heat. A French company has been busy creating a bionic future for people living with disabilities thanks to a new robotized exoskeleton. One, the craft invention enables wheelchair-bound people to stand up, walk, and do most simple tasks. Their goal is to allow people living with disabilities to be independent and to give elderly people the chance to walk again. The exoskeleton takes just a couple of minutes to put on, and Kevin Piet, who lost the use of his legs 10 years ago, says he can do it by himself. It's true that this first lift is quite impressionnant en fait parce que ça se fait d'une manière très facile, très silencieuse, confortable et en fait on a cette posture debout qui que qu'on a qu'on avait oublié en fait qui est très agréable d'une manière sentimentale parce que bon bah ça fait quand même vraiment plaisir de pouvoir être à la hauteur des gens au lieu de les regarder en permanence du bas. The latest model of the exoskeleton is also being used in hospitals to help with the rehabilitation process. La question pour Wondercraft, c'est comment est-ce qu'on va arriver à faire que les gens vont vraiment avoir une vie ordinaire, mais aussi comment est-ce que toutes les pathologies dont ils souffrent parce qu'ils sont en fauteuil tout le temps vont arriver à être euh, résolues. E-readers are great, but nothing really beats the smell of a book. In some unexpected happy news, bookshops across the US are booming according to the New York Times. The paper is reporting that more than 300 bookstores have opened in the past couple of years, and the revival is attributed to a consumer demand for real recommendations from real people. Existing bookshops have also reported an increase in profits, according to a recent survey. Some 80% of respondents say they saw higher sales in 2021 than in 2020, and nearly 70% of them said their sales last year were higher than 2019. Back in Europe, the second-hand book business is also booming. Graham Bell, CEO at World of Books, says the sustainability aspect has driven demand. His company sells a book every two seconds, totaling 18 million sales a year, and it grew 30% in 2021. Ebooks, on the other hand, were predicted to bring about the end of the paper book, but have plateaued at 20% of the market share. A new study says that getting in touch with that old friend you've been meaning to call will be much more appreciated than you might think. And the greater the surprise, the greater the appreciation says a study published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology. When you're being reached out to, and it's especially when it's really surprising, that appreciation and happiness is much higher. Whereas when people are considering reaching out, they're not thinking about how surprised the recipient will feel. 
After conducting experiments with nearly 6,000 people, scientists have found people consistently underestimate how much others in their social circle might appreciate a non-expected phone call, a text, or email just to say hello. I would suggest that if you're feeling hesitant about reconnecting with someone, our research would suggest that those hesitations are probably misplaced and that others are likely to appreciate being reached out to much more than you think. The bright blue Spix maca, a species that once died out in the wild, is back flying in the skies of its homeland Brazil after a remarkable international rescue project. The species had suffered a gradual process of the extinction due to the destruction of its habitat and its capture for the illegal wildlife trade. In 1986, the last known wild population was down to three birds. By 1990, only one male remained. Ten years later, there were no more birds of the species. Their apparent extinction from their natural habitat caused a worldwide commotion. It was even portrayed in the U.S. animated feature film, Rio. But after an agreement with the German breeding center, ACTP, 52 macas were brought back to Brazil two years ago. Fast forward to today, when a flock of Spix macas soars freely over its natural habitat. If you enjoyed this Good News Roundup and want to hear more, let us know in the comments and share our stories with your friends. And remember, it can be hard to find among the headlines, but some news is good news.